hey guys what bump it to you guys they won't check out he doesn't accept religion because of women and lgbt rights guys let's go straight into this Hey you! Are you wasting your time on social media again? Your brothers and sisters in the Slam Net from Norway are establishing a masjid, a dawah center. Establishing a masjid to convey the message of Islam is one of the best deeds a Muslim can do. There's a huge need for it in Norway. You know this and I know this. So that makes the reward even greater. So give generously and Allah Azza wa Jal will give you even more. Uh, we're just going around and asking people here, we're doing a social experiment. Okay. We're testing the, the knowledge of the Norwegian people as it relates to Islam as a religion. Okay. If I was to ask you about um, Islam, what would you say the first thing springs to mind when I say the religion of Islam? Allah. Okay. Yeah, first thing. Uh, and what, what do you understand from the religion itself, the practice? So if I was to ask you to expound a little yeah. bit more. Uh, I would say... Uh, Mostly related to men and the women have not the same rights and uh, yes. yeah, something else. Uh, very, um, uh, uh, they talk a lot about the older men have more power than the younger and uh, and uh, it's, uh, it's a huge religion. So if that was the case, you should be quite a happy man. You should be all the Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding, I'm only yeah, kidding. You're a very young man, of course, yeah. in spirit and in appearance. But I was going to say, look, I mean, uh, these are the kinds of things we're trying to, in a sense, not challenge, but trying to discuss, at least. Okay. Because I, it's, it's true to say that Islam has a, a different world view yeah. than, say, for example, Western Enlightenment thinking. I mean, some people go two different extremes on this, on this issue. Yeah. Some deny that there's any difference at all, yeah. which is unintelligible and not true. And some, deny, some say that actually the, the, the differences are so much that there cannot be any cooperation. Mm -hmm. and, and I think what we're trying to do is we're trying to establish a middle ground here. What do you think of that approach? Uh, I would say uh, I think most people would be much happier if they uh, uh, believed in other people and not so much in uh, what's in, in God or Allah or anything. Yes, I think, yes. I, think more, I believe more in people than in uh, any religion. Yes, okay, but then the question is this, is that, you know, when we talk about belief in, in a general sense, right, you said it first, we said, what is Islam? You said God or Allah, right? Yeah. You believe in God, or, I'm not sure, do you believe in God or do you? No. Yeah, I mean, most, most Scandinavian people now, I think it's one of the most atheist societies, or at least agnostic, irreligious societies in the world. Yeah. Why do you, you're an individual who has seen, maybe, I'm guessing you're at least 50 years old. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a bit less conservative. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that is a surprise. I was going to say that most people, you've seen maybe a shift between a more religious Scandinavia yeah. and a less religious one. What do you think the turning points were? Because of what I said, the, the priests and the, 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 um, yes. the leader of yes. religions uh, view of the homosexual and women. That is uh, the, what makes uh, that makes the difference. Because so, if, yeah. if they don't uh, accept uh, homophily, homophile people yeah, and yeah. Uh, other women, then I don't respect them. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Even if this man converts now, which let's say I could get him to convert, but it doesn't mean anything if there's not an aftercare program, if there's not someone to speak to them, if there's not someone to, to help them. And we need to help them by clicking the link below right now, because this is the biggest outreach program in Scandinavia. So click the link below and we'll be able to do this project where we can do this dawah to the people in the streets of Norway and in Sweden and in Denmark and in all of Scandinavia. Today, click the link below. You cannot afford to miss out on this opportunity. So in a sense, it seems like your biggest qualm against religion in, in general yeah. is uh, gender equality and LGBTQ yeah, rights. Right. Okay, can I like, challenge this a little bit in a sense? Okay. Say, let's say for the sake of argument, let's assume that the Abrahamic religions, like Islam, Christianity, Judaism, all, all three of them, uh, you can interpret them in their most traditional form as separating the rights between men and women in some cases, yeah, yeah. and also suggesting that homosexuality is a sin. Okay, okay let's just assume that those two things are true. Yeah. Okay, if I were to say, What's the evidence against those two notions? What would you say as someone who's like a Western yeah, Enlightenment because person? Because yeah. some people are women and some people are homosexual. Yes. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's uh, against... That's, 
I can you can say that one pe one person are less worthy yeah. than the other, and that's why yeah. if one people say I'm homosexual, then he's just as worthy and as anyone who says he's not. I and understand. The is just the much as a man. Abs yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I, I can see where you're coming from in terms of human worth, and yeah. that these persons are human, this persons are human, and so on. But what what we're saying here is something a little bit different, which is that if I were to ask you this question, yeah. why is homosexuality okay morality for example like in other words where do you get your right and wrong from where do you where do you understand what's right and where do you, what's wrong because they exist yeah. if, yeah. if with one person they have no legs yes and uh, another person no arms and one people are uh, homosexual and the one is uh, 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 dumb or deaf it's, yeah. it's just it's just uh, it's just uh, another type of human. It's not a diff It's not uh, nothing should say that that's mm. more right or wrong than the other. Yeah, I accept. I, I, in terms of how people are, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this person is not better than that person on basis on that that person has certain feelings of the opposite gender that the other one doesn't have, or that person has legs, or that person doesn't have legs, or that person's a man, that person's a woman. I, to be fair, to to steal man the opposition, I think all three religions could argue that that's the case. We would agree, like for example, Christians, yeah. Muslims and Jews, all, all of them would say that, okay, we're not saying that there's anything wrong with a person just because they have those things. Mm -hmm. But what they're saying is that these actions, for example, these beliefs yeah, yeah, yeah. are problematic. So for, for, now my question is, where did you get your beliefs yeah. that this is right and this is wrong? How do you ascertain what's right and what's wrong? Because, um, I, I mean, it's just, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just accept. You have to accept whatever it is. And what what I feel is that uh, the most religion, like Muslims and yeah. Christianity yeah. and Jews, they all are made by men who think they want power over other. And they, if, if they say Allah said told me, yeah. then they said okay. Then Allah told me. Then you have to do what I do because I say because I I hear my my words from Allah. And who who can say that? Nobody can what, prove it. What was your name again, my friend? Tor. Tor. Yeah, Tor. Tor. Like, like the like god Thor. from. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, so I believe in the northern mythology. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was going to say this is that now everyone gets their right and wrong from somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you've said that religion, mm. the people that get religion, and let's for the sake of argument say, yeah, yeah. okay, the, the, most of the religions have protagonists which are male. Mm. And the, the assumption from a secular mind, of course, is that these male, males themselves created the religion and therefore they're doing it for self interest. Okay. So I understand the argument. Yeah. I'm saying that even notwithstanding that argument, yeah. for example, you, Thor, in the 21st century, in 2023, yeah. you've gotten your right and wrong from somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah, that's so right. If, you were, if you were born 400 years ago, your right and wrong would have been different, maybe, right? Yeah, that's right. That's believable. Yeah. yeah. And because the society that you would have lived in, mm -hmm. For example, when they were worshipping Thor in the Nordic regions, yeah, right, yeah, for example, yeah, yeah. would have been a different one. So they might have believed in the very same things right. as um, Christians and Jews and Muslims believe in now, right? Yeah. 400 years ago, maybe even 100 years ago, frankly, maybe your grandfather or even your father might have had those beliefs. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm saying is, how do you know that those beliefs, those set of beliefs are true today in 2023? I Nobody can tell. Okay. I, I, I don't, I, it's, and it, it, the only thing is matter is here and now, and I can't yeah. I can't prove anything what's happened before, yeah. and I can prove it. it's it's like uh, this is uh, how I think it is. I get it. So I think that what we need to remember here, because mm. I think when it comes to religion, right, in general, yeah. people have kind of like a, a discourse, mm. which is that we are the secularists, yeah. for example, or, or we are the uh, neutral mm. in the party. We have uh, we assume neutrality, and the religious is not neutral, right? Okay. But what I'm saying is, what I'm trying to propose to you is, actually, there, secularism is not a neutral proposition. Mm -hmm. Liberalism is not a neutral proposition. Pro-LGBT is not a neutral proposition. The, the idea that men and women are not just identical, or just to say they're equal in, in, in roles, for example, is something which is not a neutral proposition. These are all propositions which require evidence themselves. Mm -hmm. Which is why I'm saying that, uh, when I brought back to your life, your, your, like, you know, your 50 years of living, whatever it is, that you must have seen the change at what point in your life did you decide actually this was where I'm going to take my right and wrong from yeah. and this what yeah this what I'm telling you I don't yeah. know what's right yeah. I am just I, I, I mean mm. the more you know the less less you know in a way and the, the, the life goes on I know I was much more sure when I was 15 than I'm now because yeah I think uh, everything is uh, I, and, I, and I'm happy with that I think it's okay it's I think okay not to know and I, I think that's was wrongly with all the religion that they think they know the truth, and that's not. I don't. Do, do, I understand what you're I saying. I don't need the truth. Do, do, you, do you ever consider yeah. death? Yeah. 
And when you consider death, what do you what do you think about that? How do you make sense of that? I think that is uh, it's a very good question because yeah. then I think I think it's then it's over. Like yeah. like you know, when something burns up, it's it's finished. I think that's life is. When you live and when you not live, you're dead. I think it's easy. I, I, I understand what you're saying, yeah. but could you entertain the possibility that there will be a continuation of life after death? I, I'm, I don't need it. I don't. I don't need. I, I, of I know course, it will. could be, but uh, who yeah. knows? Nobody yeah. will know, and I don't need to know either because yeah. I just. It's, it's, yeah, I think it's exciting to live, and I don't. Uh, I don't really think too much about what's up. It's, it happens when it happens. Do you not know or do you not want to know? So I, not, know. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I do not know. You do not know, but no. do you want to know? If I, if, I had a, if I had an envelope in my yeah, pocket, yeah. right, which said to you, I have the definitive answer of what happens after death. Would you want to open that? No, I don't think, I don't think so. I don't think I would well, like to. On that bombshell, my friend, thank you so much for your interview. Yeah, it's been a pleasure talking yeah. to you, my friend. Thank you so Very much. Well. Take care, yeah? Right, what we saw there, interestingly, was the mindset of an individual who doesn't want to know, doesn't want to understand, but at least engaged with the issues. And it's not that you want to convert everybody in Norway, that's not the aim or objective. The aim or objective is just to simply get people to think, spark some kind of thought process in their mind. Pew Research has actually done a research on the most racist countries in the world and the least racist countries in the world. And they found that the most racist countries in Europe, for example, are those who have the least interaction with, say, for example, people of different races. And likewise, someone can say the same thing about people of different religions as well. And so just having these conversations already fulfills an objective of humanizing Muslim people and encouraging, normalizing discussions about religion and ethics and putting us on somewhat of an even playing field in those discussions. So if it's not conversion, it's also at least going to be normalization. And so the Scandinavian initiative here, where the Dawa Outreach Project, which is attempting to normalize relationships between Muslim people and other people, normalize Islam in this country, doing Dawa and bringing people to Islam, strengthening the Muslim community is the biggest of its kind. And so you do you really want to miss an opportunity like this where you can encourage these kinds of discussions, this kind of outreach? I don't think you do. And these are the efforts that were Islam that are putting forward, of course, in creating this Masjid and Dawa Center. We can have an outreach project which will fulfill those two objectives in a way that's never been fulfilled before in Scandinavian history. And that's why I say click on the button below and donate right now. Brothers and sisters. Guys, let me in guys we don't know this, guys. And I feel donate if you can because it's going to be doing good because it's going to be helping people that come out from this darkness or blindness because I feel the man does not want to know what happens after that and I feel this life I'm supposed to know, like, you're supposed to know, and I mean, the man is just cool with it, because if you listen to him, he, he was like, he, he, he just wants everyone to just live happily. I feel you living happily, accepting everything that some people who does not have sense tell you, it's just going to make you live without a purpose, I tell you. I'm just going to be roaming the earth without a purpose, and it's really, really bad, like, I understand that our purpose on this earth is to worship God and if that is my sole purpose, I think I'll do it for the rest of my life because think of it, if you worship God, you do good, you leave this earth, you go to heaven, it's just an amazing thing to do and I feel, I will go through that part and I, it is me look at me and be, and be like, why do you think there's a God because I know there's a God. So guys, do a shout to like, subscribe to my channel, I'll see you next time guys. Please.